Hello, everybody. This is International Master Sam Shackland, and uh, today I would like to continue my little series on how to uh, play against these unambitious uh, white D4 systems where they try to sort of get an easy position to play and uh, not really have to think too hard, but solid and easy to play. So last time we looked at the moves Bishop F4 and Bishop G5, which sort of took the position in one character. But here we're going to look at the move e3, which uh, takes a position in a very different character. Basically, I'm going to show a position which uh, goes exactly the way white wants. Something like this. Let's say castle, castle, b3, knight d7. And some get to a position like this one. Now f4. White's idea is very simple. Lift all the pieces over to the king's side and make a big attack, and black's kind of in some trouble because there's not much he can do about it. So this is exactly what white wants from this position, but we're going to do our best to not let this happen. So going back to the beginning, I think in this position, if you try to do the same plan as before, it probably just won't work. Something like this, b3, knight c6, bishop b2, let's say. The whole idea of queen b6, it just loses its point entirely because this bishop is on b2 protecting d4 and the pawn's already on b3. Most importantly, white hasn't moved his c-pawn. So what I think you should do is, uh, well, okay, if they play b3, probably play c takes d4. And then after e takes d4, play bishop g4. Let's say something like bishop b2, knight c6. I beat e2, e6, bishop f3. And you see in this, or I guess the real point is white would really like to put his bishop on d3, but there's two problems. One, it runs straight into knight b4 in a lot of cases. But more importantly, I think this, this knight on f3 is pinned and it's going to have a hard time getting to e5. So I think that's why the bishop sort of belongs on e2. If they wanted to put it on d3, they could put something like a3. But that costs valuable time. As you'll see in a position like this one, If white tries to play, like let's say black plays queen c7. If white plays c4, black can always take take and play a move like rook fd8. And this hanging pawn structure should give black some pretty reasonable chances. I mean, it's not in a better position by any means, but it gives him good chances to play for an advantage if he uh, his opponent tries to play sort of unambitiously. And it makes white really think, unlike in most of these positions they'll really find in the sort of passive d4 openings so c4 usually doesn't cut it but it's hard to find another plan for ex because the e5 score is so well covered for example let's say white plays sort of an unnatural looking we hope you enjoyed this video demo from chess.com subscribe today to finish this video and get unlimited access to our full video library your membership also includes access to Chess Mentor, the most advanced interactive training tool available anywhere. You'll also get full access to the Opening Explorer, Tactics Trainer, and much, much more. So sign up today and get serious about improving your game.